What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So tonight you're joining me on the most boring video that I've ever made, but it's for a good reason. So quick background story. Um, my mate Andy has got a bunch of really nice cameras and lenses and every time I make a nice looking video it's because Andy comes along and helps me with the shoot. And so I've been talking to him about how I desperately want to get an SLR for shooting videos. And unfortunately I don't have any money. So Andy said to me, why don't you just buy a camcorder? And then suddenly I realized I had a full on, oh my God, I'm an idiot moment. I own a camcorder. I bought one about in 2016 and it broke because I stuck it to my car windscreen and went doing driving on snow and uh, stabilization broke. So I just chucked it in a drawer and didn't look at it since. And so since Andy said, why don't you get a camcorder, dug it out of the drawer, charged it up, formatted it, and hey presto, it works. So the good thing about this camera is you can zoom, you can change the white balance, you can change the focus, you can do everything you can with a decent camera, except the quality isn't as good, but it's better than a GoPro. So tonight, all I'm gonna do is give the old bike a clean, give it a wash, and um, test out this camera. So as I'm washing my bike, I figured you guys can give me some comments down below and let me know what I'm doing differently to you. Do you wash from the top to the bottom or do you wash the wheels first and then the fairing? So yeah, drop me some comments and I'm gonna get on with cleaning the bike and giving this old Sony a test, see if it's good enough. So, first thing I always do is get the bike up on the paddock stands, front and rear, so that I can easily clean the wheels. Now I've just spotted a nice feature that the camera has where you can do manual focus. So you can do those uh, nice shots of fading into focus, so that is good. So, maybe this camera is going to be good, you know. So anyway, yeah, first thing I always do, get the bike up on the paddock stands, so that you can easily clean the wheels by spinning them around rather than having to get your hands up stuck in, stuck in between the forks and the fender and stuff like that. Same goes for the rear. Get it up on a paddock stand and it makes cleaning your chain and cleaning your wheels a hell of a lot easier. So first thing I'm gonna do now is just give the bike a spray with some water and then I'm gonna get the soap gun out and give it a bunch of bubbles, sexy clean bubbles. This is my soap gun. There are many like it, but this one is mine. then so once I've gone over the bike with just shampoo and water and just using a uh, sponge for now I wash all the soap off and then go for the wheels next I'm gonna give the bike a once over again with uh, the bucket and the sponge rather than the spray gun so for now I'm just gonna leave it wet as it is but I will give her a proper clean in a bit and then dry it off so for the wheels I'm just using this generic wheel cleaner that says Hoiru Karina. So this is just from a uh, uh, DIY store that we have in Japan. It's cheap. So what I do, just spray it all on. Rotate the wheels. And then once that's been on there for a few minutes, I'll go over it with a plastic brush. It's quite kind of a soft brush. It's not, it's not a very hard brush. So yeah, let's get on with that. All right guys, so I've just turned the bike around, taking the uh, front stand off because we don't need it right now. So what I wanted to tell you about is the rear wheel. Now I use wheel cleaner on them too, but obviously because you've got all the chain wax and shit coming off and flinging onto the wheel, sometimes the wheel cleaner isn't good enough. So let's just rub my finger on it. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. And um, 
wheel cleaner sometimes doesn't get rid of that so I use WD-40 so for example's sake this is difficult with only one hand I'll just spray a bit of WD on there and then just use one of these like kitchen sponges and you can, you can feel it straight away you can feel the abrasion suddenly disappear and then it becomes smooth so I don't know if this will you can kind of see the reflection of the light there you can see how clean it's become so yeah if you're having trouble getting rid of dirty old um, chain chain wax and stuff off your off your rear wheel then try WD-40 look Japanese WD-40 but I'm pretty sure it's the same everywhere so yeah that's my uh, pro tip of the day what bro what are you talking about man all right, so I've finished cleaning the old girl now. She's come out quite well, but I'm gonna let her dry overnight because, uh, you know, when you work in a garage or you've got a nice garage at your house with a compressor, you can blow all the water off. But here, I got a bicycle parking garage, so I can't do that. So, it's come out pretty clean, I must say. But tomorrow, um, I'm gonna take some compound and go over a few places like, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a few marks. Um, a few scuffs and stuff I'm going to try and get out with some comp uh, rubbing compound tomorrow. Give the wheels a bit of a, uh, a polish as well. And yeah, and that's it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Do you like my little trolley? It's cool, isn't it? Cool, isn't it? Alright guys, so see you in the morning. If you're still watching, that is. If you are, you're a sad, sad person, but I love you. Later. Alright guys, good morning. So the bike is now clean and lovely. I rubbed out a few of the scratches using some compound and I sprayed on some simple like spray wax and I've given it a good old buffing so it's looking rather nice. So the final test for the camera, let's see if we can get some sexy static kind of b-roll type shots and if they're good I'll put them in the video and then we'll just end it there. So thanks for sticking with me to the very end. You guys are legends.